G'day guys, what is going on? It's me and Jelball here, and if you've been following me for any point in time, you know exactly what this is, and you know exactly what I'm doing, and you know what is exactly going on. It is time for a review of the XLY ARP9. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, so as most of you probably know, this thing is the best gel blaster out of the box. Don't care what you say, that's just how it is. Uh, so there's no stop and think campaign, I took that out earlier. Just a nice little diagram instead. There we go. Love a little foam. Oh, this is the contents of the box. I can't remember what's in it, even though I've gotten like two or three previously, but you know, it is what it is. Some accessories. I know there's some sights somewhere in here. Get them out later. There'll be the glasses as well. Also got some gels. Should come with it. What's in here? Ah, so those are the sights and the Picatinny rails. I have one on, one off. No rails though, they just sit there. I'm basically getting away my hand for that lovely, lovely C grip, like that. Uh, and then mine comes with one mag, but you know, whatever, I've got eight already, so it's fine. But this is what you all came to see. This is the XLY ARP9. It is absolutely beautiful in its stock form. I've honestly forgotten what it's like to have a stock one. Uh, you've all seen my Hydro Dipped and all the others from ARP Gang. So nice short little barrel, I think it's 175 millimeters. So you can definitely get sus suppressors on the end and extend that out a little bit. Uh, you've got your butt stock that's a bit stiff. Basically you've got your battery compartment in there as well. Very small. Uh, but I have found running Titans, you can extend it all the way out, the big Titan batteries, and they'll fit in there nicely. Uh, you've got, obviously, your Mag Prime in the base model. Pops out, love a little silver on that one. Other ones have been blue, but anyway. And then you've obviously got, you know, safe, semi, and auto. And that's a bit stiff compared to my other ones. That's right. And then obviously you've got your normal trigger. Uh, but for those of you that don't know about the ARP9s, these are the best blasters out of the box, in my opinion. Uh, they're just absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, fairly light. Uh, could be a bit lighter, but, you know, a bit of weight, never hurt anyone. Uh, your mags will hold 125 gels. I have counted them. Don't ask why. Uh, but, like, this thing is beautiful. So this bad boy comes with uh, Metal Gear stock. I believe they're 18 to ones. Nothing overly fancy like your, uh, you know, your retros or your BGXs or your bolts, uh, but they definitely get the job done. Um, not the fastest thing in the world either. Again, being on the 18 to ones, but you know, you've all seen my videos. You know exactly what you can do to these bad boys. Put them on 13s. Put them on a DSG. Do whatever you want, really and they'll be good to go. So everything's beautiful and lovely in the box. Um, and there's not much else I can say about that. Plenty of room for engraving if you want to get some engraving done, I suppose as well. But it is what it is. Then uh, obviously you've also got, see basically like batteries are that big. There is not much in it. Comes with the stock, but uh, she comes with the mini Tamiya's. So not the best. Uh, my other ones have Deans, uh, and then that allows me to run the big boy Titans, but obviously you can change that to have you like. And then look, honestly, just throw this straight out because, yeah, you don't want your lipos blowing up. There's also some cheap Brooklyn gels. No one's gonna bother. I'm just gonna put Ultra Elite straight through it because they're the best on the market. Love it. But, yep, there we go. Happy days. Unlike blasters like the PX9, uh, she does not actually have programmable MOSFET stock. Uh, and depending on which version you've got, because uh, there's been a few different MOSFET types, one likes an 11 volt and you can run it fine without it. The other only likes the 7.4 volt. So if you're running an 11 volt in that particular MOSFET, they can go kaput, which isn't very nice for everyone involved. But in saying that, these bad boys are excellent to mod. Uh, in mine, I will be doing a loadout review 
shortly. This is actually going to end up being my HPA one, uh, hopefully in a few weeks. Uh, so just where you got the little cord out, but the stock gearbox is fine to use. Probably not ideal. Um, if you want to, you know, make sure it's functioning properly, uh, chuck in, you know, a metal HPA box, things like that. But again, the stock box is fine. Uh, the nice little red one that you can see there. Um, otherwise, you know, your retro boxes, your MK boxes, you know, basically you can fit just about anything in this bad boy. Um, and turn into a really, really good AUG, super reliable, uh, you know, mod it up, hydro dip it, you know, do whatever you want. Um, my main one at the moment is hitting 29 RPS uh, on 13 to 1s, 25k Tinley, so that fits in this lovely, lovely textured hand grip. And it just feels so nice to uh, be able to touch a, a stock one once again, um, just because I haven't had a stock one for so long. Um, it's hitting, you know, 250, 260 out of the box, uh, you know, swapping your barrel out and everything like that will obviously increase that. Uh, probably best not to put anything more than an M100 in it. Um, so you don't want to really go past that 290, 300 mark, because that's when these boxes, you know, start to get a bit hesitant um, when you've got all those moving parts inside. But other than that, like if you're just getting into blasting, um, you know, this is good for indoor, outdoor, um, probably not underwater, but you know, it is what it is. Like these are dead set, mold them up, you make them look absolutely beautiful, you know, bigger on the front, bigger on the back, whatever you want, or you can just keep it like this, which I'll probably be doing with this one, uh, apart from, you know, the line, a few other bits and pieces, but like I say, guys, like I can't you know, say enough good things about these blasters, especially stock, they're definitely one of the best on the market. So if you've been looking at one, want to get one, um, go and do it honestly, like 10 out of 10, XY, XYL ARP9, absolutely beautiful. Um, so if you wanted to know how they go in action, I've got tons of videos on the rest of the channel that you can check out, some with the blasters done up, others, you know, stock. Um, and as you can see, they just go and the results speak for themselves. Anyway guys, that's a quick overview of the uh, XYL ARP9. You all have a good day. Go get one of these bad boys and I'll see you out in the field. Catch ya. To see, but I'm wondering if I should change. Or you. Dare you. Subscribe, all right?